Hello Drone Racers, I'm Mark and today on Drone Racer 101 we're going to fix some batteries. Over lunch the other day I went out and worked on a couple of videos, but when I'm working during lunch I'm in a real big hurry, so sometimes things don't always go well. In this case I stuffed my Hawk 5 into the ground. Once it gets down a little bit it's alright. Oops. And then fought with the LDARC 200 GT battery strap. So in both cases, I managed to ruin a balance port for my batteries. Now everything seems to be okay here. I got lucky from the looks of it, but you still want to get everything back in place and working. And when you do this, you want to do it very carefully. So I'm going to do this the easy way, but I'm going to show you and just mention a couple of things that uh, just in case you haven't ever had to do this before, you should probably know. First, the easiest way to fix this is just to have another balance port all ready to go. So here's one that I've got and I bought this off of Amazon. I think you can get them on Banggood or Gearbest or wherever. So the first thing you need to know is make sure the metal connectors on the end here never come into contact with any of the other ones because each of these wires is connected to one side of a lipo. So our lipo here, there's a 4S battery. So we have four cells in here. We have five wires. So we go one, two, three, four, five. So think of it the same as if I had five AA batteries all lined up in a row and I just attached a wire here on the end and then at each point in the middle. So what that does is let me take any pair of wires here and I take a pair and if I take the middle two, that's the wires connecting to this battery. So if I read just those two wires, it will give me the voltage and the readout for just this cell. That's how the balance works is it can look at because of the pairs of wires for each one. If I look at the end one and the second one, well, I'll take the combined voltage of the two cells that I've got here. But if I end up touching these wires together, I'm going to create a short and it's going to short off the batteries and bad things will happen, especially with lipos. Now to remove these, it's a little bit different than some of the other cells that you've got. With a lot of the JST connectors, you'll lift up a plastic piece and then slide it out. In this case, what you have to do is push the metal part down. So it helps if you push the wire in just a little bit to relieve pressure. And then I'm going to use my X-Acto knife here to push the metal piece down and then it will just slide out. So you could also cut all of your wires and re-solder them, but none of my wires are damaged so I really don't want to do that. I just want to take them out and replace just the end piece here. There we go, so now they're all out. Now order is important here. So what I can see is I broke the other end. I started on this side. On this one I have a red wire and a black wire, but all of these wires, so this one is positive only, this one's negative only. The white ones in the middle are both, depending on which side you're connecting them to. So the second wire is a ground if I'm connecting it to this red wire. If I go the other direction and go toward the ground, then it becomes the positive wire. So now what I'm going to do is make sure I've got this in the same order and I'm going to do these one at a time. You don't want to take all these off and just have these all hanging and dangling around because then it'd be very much more likely you could have a short. So here I'm going to try and slide this one in. I can see the metal piece still looks good. I've still got a good bend on it. Now these aren't all completely universal. I just have to try it here, see if it'll work. and. I think I've I think I've always gotten it to work, but there's a chance you won't. So there I've slid that one in to the right spot. I'm gonna give it a good tug and there, yeah, that's in really good. So now I'm gonna do the next one and I will take it out. So now I will put this next one in before I take out the following one. There we go. So that's good. Two down, three to go. There we go. Good as new. Everything's in place and now I have a completely good connector ready to go. And then I have some extra wires that I can use for other projects when I need to solder things up. I like, I always keep these extra wires. I have a bin for them that I just keep things in. 
now I just need to go do the other one. So if you found this useful, leave a like down below. And if you're not a subscriber, make sure you do that. Until next time, remember, today I learned if I don't remove this sticker, everyone on Reddit will make fun of me.